Hi, and welcome to Excel Quantitative Analysis using Excel QM and QM for Windows. Today we will learn how to compute moving average forecast, which is the sum of demands in the previous n number of periods divided by n the number of periods. In your first column, you're going to have your periods. Uh, we have a year's worth of data, so that will be 12 periods of demand. All right. So the first actual value that you will be able to compute will be in month four of April. And it will take the most recent three periods, January, February, and March, and divide that by three. So it equals the sum of cells B2 through B4 divided by 3. Next you have uh, May equals the sum tab of February, March, and April, close parentheses, divided by N number of periods, which is 3, control enter. Then we want to highlight both of those cells, double click to send that on down, and that will inevitably give you the forecast for the first month of the next year, which is January, and that's what we're looking for. So the January uh, forecast equals D14, 16. All right, F4 to lock that in, control enter, 16. All right, an even easier way is to let the computer evaluate the information for you. So let's scroll on over to the Excel QM tab, look up a, the formula alphabetically by finding forecasting and the move it, moving average. All right. Number of past periods of data, we have a year's worth of monthly data, which would be 12. Number of periods to average, if we were using the naive model, it would just take simply take December's demand, and the forecast for January would be December's demand, which is 14. But we want to increase that and use a moving average of three months. So increase the number of periods to average to three, click OK, a new Worksheet will open. I've already entered some of the data, so I, I could just copy and paste. Demand. And there you have it. Excel QM. Let's uh, clean this up a bit a bit and decrease the number of decimals and make those integers and you have your forecast right here in the first column all right now I think that the data is actually easier to analyze over in QM for Windows um, so you'll go to module forecasting file new and click on number one time series analysis because we're um, trying to get a monthly moving average all right simply click on solve or f9 and you'll have your error measure measures and your forecast it says next period's forecast is 14 well, that's a little bit disturbing because we calculated it over here in Excel QM as our next period being 16. So I've done something wrong, but it's fairly simple to edit the data in QM for Windows. Just go to Window, Edit Data. We need to change the method. Obviously, if our answer was 14, it's calculating the naive method. It just took December's 
value of demand being 14 and calculated January's demand as 14 as well. Let's just switch that over to moving averages. Periods to average, 3. Solve again, and that increases it to 16. All right. The bias or the mean average, the average ev error, excuse me, mean error, uh, just determines the accuracy of the forecast by measuring the average error and which direction it's moving, positive or negative, the bias could be. In fact, let's look at the errors a little bit closer. It'll show e the bias for each month. The MAD or the mean absolute deviation determines how accurate this forecast is by averaging the absolute deviations. The mean squared error is in the next column. This takes the average of the squared errors. So it's always going to be a positive number because the errors are squared. And then you have your MAPE, mean absolute percentage error. So this um, forecasts the error as a percentage using the absolute value. So it's always going to be positive because it's calculating an absolute value. All right. Also, uh, one of the positive things about QM for Windows is the graph is a little bit more interactive. This is why that bias can be positive or negative. After the month, is it going to increase? Is demand going to increase or decrease? So the blue lines show your forecasts. And in that January forecast was uh, 16. And then the black line is your actual data. Okay. So the trends are the same but it's not exactly uh, the same. All right. And that is forecasting moving averages using XLQM and QM for Windows.